previously on Hardline. Together we can forge the new future of law enforcement. Our old captain's been busy. Car dealership. Korean mafia front. We've got a guy on the inside. His name's Boomer. It's Kang's dealership. Kang fills the cars with drugs. Dawes' guys run the trains. Let's go put this Mr. Kang out of business. That's $9.9 .9 million worth of coke. I'm getting this out of here. Come on! Fuck it! So you're gonna update us or oh, what? You really want me to explain to you the super technical stuff I'm doing right now? Uh. No. Well, here's something. What is it? Party invite sent to Kang. Interesting addressy list, too. Half these guys I work for. Says the party's on Mount Olympus. That's some kind of code? Actually, that's a real neighborhood, believe it or not. And the party's tonight. Kind I'll check it out. You up for that? I'm not much of a party girl, but... All right. Sexy. Okay, come on. It's gonna go off soon. Where'd you get that thing anyway? Boomer. He's worked for more than a couple of bank robbers. Let's find a way inside. Something other than the front door. If we break in, it's gotta be subtle. Relatively subtle. So who owns the house? Neil Rourke, noted skis bag. Into drugs, guns... Someone who'd be interested in Dawes' private police force. That's my guess. He's got serious security, which is why... I brought that. Don't worry about any alarm. The power's out. Those are just the emergency lights. Power's still out. Trust me, Boomer knows his stuff. We're in. Now let's figure out where we plant the bug. Boomer said a lot of shitbags were coming to the meeting. Let's look for a conference room or something. This way. Is it me or does this place seem a little too quiet? As long as I'm not being shot at, no complaints. Let's check upstairs. What kind of an asshole lives in a place like this? A rich asshole. A rich Hollywood asshole. Uh-huh. Up here. Fuck this house, and fuck this view. Sorry, left my phone off. I take it this is your first burglary? Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, you hear that? Meeting's not for two hours, right? That's what Kang's email said. Let's just plant this bug and get out of here. This'll work. Okay, bug's planted. Let's go. Uh-oh. Shit. Come on. I thought this thing started at midnight. Schedule change. Right this way, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. I thought Kang was supposed to be here. Kang's not coming. Oh, his wife's sick. <laughs> sick? She's 25 years old. What does she have, a runny nose? Kang's out of the picture, officially. Which is why we're meeting now rather than later. I thought you were supposed to be his protection. We offer several tiers of security. Who killed him? You? 
Man, I'm out of here. Gentlemen, sit down. Shut up. Allow the man to talk. You know, guys, this doesn't have to be this difficult. In Miami, we broker truces between assholes like you. Any arguments, we settled like this, talking. Now, we don't want your turf or your product. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. It worked in Miami, so I'd like nothing better than to see our own. Local luminaries start thinking like actual businessmen. Well done. Now, gentlemen, a limo. Crammed with some of Hollywood's finest part-time cosmetology students is en route. Please, make your way to the Boom Boom Room. And enjoy. You, uh, want to talk about it? The guy that whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. I need to just talk to some people. Should be back later tonight, though. Well, your money will be stored in my Sanctum Santorum. Uh, rest assured. That son of a bitch is here. Kai. If we sneak out this window, we can still catch him. Forget Stoddard, I've got an idea. What? Give me your phone. Okay. Why? Anything important on here? Just that candy game. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. So you want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Wait, what? I need to have a word with Sergeant Stoddard before he gets away, and we can't both be sneaking through this house. Oh. <laughs> Come on, give me a boost. Can't believe I actually trusted you. This is personal. <clears throat> personal? You helped Dawson Stoddard put me away for three years. That's not personal? Sorry to disappoint. My mother died when I was in prison, Kai. Jesus, thank you. You know what? Save it. I don't give a shit what you do. No. Power was out when we got here. Hands up. Stay right where you are. Oh, shit. Hold it right there. Hey, what? Okay, okay. Uh, hey, no problem. <laughs> Sorry. When did the whores arrive? <laughs> An hour. Hands up. Look Keep out! Hold it right there. Hey.
hands up. Keep them up. Oh. Hold it. Stop right there. Freeze! Hey, what? Oh, shit. That... I 
I got Guessing this! Guessing him out! Are there more of them? Someone's here! Hey, he's up there! Take this fool out! What the hell is that? Obviously, you have no idea who I am, because if you did, you would not be stealing from me. Maybe I don't scare that easy. <laughs> well, you look Mexican, so I'll assume you're a burglar. But I'm also assuming you're not the average burglar. There are a lot of vulnerable properties in this neighborhood, but you picked mine to rob. Why is that? I wonder. Hey, seemed like a challenge. <laughs> Well, let's up the challenge. I just pushed a button, which means about a dozen coked up psychopaths with automatic weapons are heading your way. You scared yet? Doesn't seem like it. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, now, this is very clever of you. A two man job, huh? <laughs> so to speak. Well, hats off to you. Really? You twits better take all the cash you can carry and spend it fast. Buy gold. Buy a goddamn sailboat because I'm not gonna stop coming for you. Well, ever. shut up! Hey there. Just thought I'd check in. Hey, turn off the alarm. Uh, that's not gonna work. You got bad guys coming at you. Oh, shit.
Well, at least we won't have to fill out a bunch of paperwork later. <laughs> you get started? Then try. I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Yeah. Thanks, by the way. We should go. What the hell did Dawson Stoddard do to you? Let's just say... I wasn't always the kind of person who would fuck over her partner. Fair enough. And just so you know... This isn't about killing Doss. Not for me. Okay. What's it about then? For you. I want him ruined. Because that's what he does. He ruins people. And Stoddard? Stoddard I'm fine with just killing. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna get another shot at him. After tonight, Stoddard's gonna be coming after us. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Soon! Oh! You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. 
If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safecracker thing or not? No, no. We have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were going to, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my God, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome. Go to the right here, Nick. What have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road. Okay, let's turn. So are you like doing work? Enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boys up to no good. So how's your daddy stuck here in a fucking day? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we Marcus and I would very much mm -hmm. my father died. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, mm. which was so fucking romantic, but which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh, GPS, so he always knows where I am. Great. Yeah. That sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Spoon, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from LA named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Oh! Uh, uh. 
I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place, anyway? A missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. Got another one. This is your desert beacon. One man high. Okay, this way. Let's find that escape hatch. Like that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cops' bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man, I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, not give them anything to drink. 
Hold it. Don't you move. I swear I had this. Put your hands up. Don't Look move. Look out! What? Get him! It's okay. Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Stop. Hands up. How the fuck did you get out of there? There's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, uh, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You will get this black man killed. I feel it. Nick, pay for that trailer. Hold it right there. You even a cop?
gotta get to our gear! What were you doing here, Agent Barnes? Get in. Come on! Quick, get in the car! Hey, you wanna talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kinda flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip, that's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's hey, a lot of things I'd like to could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this Stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? I'm totally messing with you guys. God, you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. <laughs> You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot.
Chaos are done yet! They got two no. That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Dooney. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's a wang. <laughs> Check out that burnt out house before we go. That fire looks kind of recent. I told you, dudes, good people. Her dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did do mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. was a cop too. For real? But not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You, you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why he became a cop. A real cop. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Nick! This way! Time to walk. Come on. Fucking nuts. I can fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you doubting Boomer? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh huh, uh huh. Radio's on. Oh, shit. 
Boomer, Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. Boomer, I got the brute. Building. Just fix that goddamn plane. I'll hold them off. Oh, so now you want me to fix the plane?
smoke screen! Tyson, we are going straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. <laughs> Radios, uniforms, C4, scuba gear, harnesses, cable trolley, and one safe-cracking robot. So we're good, right? We are good. Let's get to Miami. Wait. We gotta give this place one last sweep. We don't want to leave anything incriminating behind. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go. What the fuck is that hissing? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You thought you could hide from me, Mendoza? I taught you everything you know. Where's it going, Nick? God damn it, shoot this prank. Oh, Dungeon. That's some bad luck. Nick! Damn it, Kai! Yeah, sorry. It's Dawes. What, you want to answer him? Say hello? <laughs> Straight to dead guy voicemail. Wait, what are you doing? Dawes is gonna probably want an update. I'm sending him one.
You should have come out of there by now. It's been over an hour. Maybe you got lost. There's a sign on the door that leads to the tank. How hard could it be? Hey, guys. Sorry, I got lost. Where the hell are you? Finding the water tank was easy. Finding the drainage? Not so much. More pipes than a church organ in there. Hey, Tyson, man, stay away from the cameras. Relax. All they're seeing is a hard-working window washer. Get the cable ready. We're moving in. Minimal radio contact from here on out. Got it. Dolls have put his office in a more evil-looking building? Be glad he's in that building. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. Wait a minute. Does every skyscraper down here have a water tank at the top? Most of them. Keeps them from rocking during hurricane season. Man, between his biometric elevators and all the bulletproof glass, Dolls must think that penthouse of his is pretty much impregnable. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Come on. Tyson's dropping the cable any minute. Here's the van. Just give me a minute. Come on, kind of on the clock here, Boomer. Yeah, I know. One thing. Are you guys really sure about this? <laughs> a little late for that, isn't it? Look, I'm just asking. Look, if I was gonna have a million gallons of water drop... 200,000. Or 200,000 gallons or whatever, I would want someone to make sure I'm safe. That's all I'm saying. Hey, you got another way up to that penthouse? I'll take it. And blowing out that stabilizer tank was your idea. Hey, it seemed a lot more doable when we weren't about to do it. Jesus. Tyson's back on schedule. Give me the C4. Here. Got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in here, too? Well, I could write bomb across it if you want. Come on, let's get this over with. Get the cable to the boat. Man, I ought to be up there with the brute. You want to trade jobs? You know, actually, I think I'm good. Have fun. <laughs> nice try. If you want to get a look into the lobby, the parking garage on the right has been called. There's a few ways inside. Looks like it. Loading dock in the back, mezzanine staircase on the side. Also, there's a front door. And lots of guards. And lots of guards. We got there. Hands up. Stay right where you are. <coughs> you see that? Try to focus. I'm gonna have a look around. Do you Not see that? Me. Freeze! <coughs> Shit! Open, damn it!
There's got to be a clue here. Okay, bet I can figure out this code. Kai, elevator's unlocked. A lot of guards for the 4th of July, huh? Think Dawes knows we're coming? Maybe. But not how we're coming. Guys, I'm on the 19th floor, but it's a guard party up here. Alright. Then we go to 20. Hit him from above. Nice. So tell me, what'd you do for Fourth of July when you were a kid? You know, put fish sauce on hot dogs, watch stuff explode. Tyson, we're on 20. Welcome to Preferred Outcomes. I'm outside a corner office. Looks like it's under construction. We're on our way. Hold it right there! <clears throat> said he was in the corner office, right? Hey, come on, come on. Here, Boomer packed you a lunch. Hey, you know, I actually haven't robbed a place in probably eight days. Hey, you sure you found the right pipe? I'm sure. And I think you two are nuts. Let's get upstairs. the fun part. Dawes relies on that private elevator to keep his penthouse safe. Boomer did say it was unhackable. Good thing we're not hacking it. All clear. You two Aquanauts can blow the charges anytime. 10-4. Here it is. Dawes wanted Kang out. And he got what he wanted.
Put your mask on. You sure about this? Hey, if we want that money, I have to push this button. Right. Back in L.A., you told me to trust you, and I did. And look where that got you. Say, relax, Kai. It's gonna work. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Then I guess it is my turn to trust you. Do it. Better let Tyson in. Let's hurry. Someone's bound to call 911 about the explosion. Doubt it. Dawes wouldn't want any cops around here. I'll find something to open the doors. Time. I bet that touch screen opens the door. Here we go. Well, it's nice to see you're both still alive. I'll say this, for a former cop, it does have taste. Now that, that is a $24,000 coffee table. You know those magazines for rich people that no rich person actually reads? I subscribe to all of them. Unlike you two bivalves, I have an appreciation for the finer things. Hey, come on. Just get the brute working on the vault. Okay. Where the hell is it? Oh, shit. Good question. Okay, everybody look around. The vault's gotta be here somewhere. Something tells me Dawes read a lot of comic books as a kid. All right, here goes. Okay, there, that, that. That should do it. Okay, Brute, do your thing. You're not gonna keep an eye on it? It's not like it needs encouragement. Guys, got bad news. Let me guess. Company. How many? You remember my worst case scenario? Yeah. That. All right, they're coming. Get ready. There's weapons in Doctor's office. Set up for these guys. 
guys. Traps, explosives, anything you've got. They're gonna be coming at us down those hallways. We need to slow these guys down. They're here. On my mark, reach and clear. Assault on span out. Locate. Eliminate mark. Yes, sir. You look over. You watch. Go that way. Came to play How did you look over there? You shoot him! Hey! Hey! Shit! Hey! Where are you going? For the brute. I don't know, maybe it'll beep when it's done. You know, like a microwave. Oh shit, they cut the power. Get ready, more coming. If you've got a night vision scope, now's the time to use it. If not, check the weapons locker in Dawes's office. I wanna check this out. Holy shit, the vault's unlocked. Time to clean this place out. Get back! Tyson! Oh, Jesus. Kai? He's alive. Black Vest saved him. Hey, stay with me, baby. I'm right here. I'm with you. Yeah. We gotta get him out of here. Come on. The vault. Get him. He pulled the money. Get him to the wire. This way. Dawes knew we were coming. You didn't get me. I guess not. <laughs> you are interestingly hard to kill. We're not done. I'm not done! You know what? I believe that. I do. So let's make it easy. 
I'm on Santa Rosada. It's not far. I know where the fuck it is! Then by all means! Come find me, boy. God damn it! Nick, we gotta get out of here. Boomer's gonna catch you, all right? Boomer, Tyson's coming down. Clip on. I'll be right behind you. Shit! Hurry! There they are! You! Stop right there! Go! Go!
you, doctor. What? What, a hospital doctor? Because if I take him there, we're both going to prison. No, no hospitals. God damn it. You realize this is a trap, right? Of course it's a trap. So get out of here. I got Dawes. No. We're taking down together. Oh, no. Okay. okay, look, hey, look. We have to get him somewhere now. Then go. Hey, this isn't Boomer's territory. You know the black market doctors. He doesn't. Why are you doing this? Dawes isn't worth it. There's no walking away after everything we've done. Dawes will hunt us down. He won't stop. Besides, I'm an escape felon wanted in three states. What else am I gonna do? I'm back in the boat, Kai. Got this. Shit. It was nice working with you, Nick. Sorry we missed a big score. Next time. Yeah, man. Next time. Oh, is a clusterfuck coming, Dosa? Is there any other way? At first time, I'm Stop right there. Hey, don't move! Stop. Take this stuff out! Hey, what the? Gentlemen, a status report would be helpful. I made it to the island, Captain. Is that helpful? Nice to know we're on the same frequency. How are you, son? I'm gonna see you soon, asshole. I'll tell you then. Hands up. And keep them up. Just hanging out, man. Where you are. You got it. You got it. Hey, hey, what's this about? <laughs> Hands up. Now. Yeah, yeah.
have any idea what I'm holding together? What happens if I'm out of the picture? I haven't given it much thought, Captain. No, boy, you haven't. Bork, man. What a nut job. Still there, Detective? I am. And I'm close. Believe it or not, Nick, 
I'm actually looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, I have a feeling you'll change your mind about that.
Impressive technique, but completely unnecessary, Detective. I'm unarmed. I highly doubt that. Hey, hey! Keep your hands where I can see him. Seriously, Nick? What are you gonna do, arrest me? That was the old Nick. Yes. I saw what you did to Stoddard. And then you flew all the way across the country to rob me? Why, well, you just might be the most ruthless son of a bitch I've ever known. <laughs> Still, I don't think you're cold-blooded enough to shoot an unarmed man. If you wanted to kill me, you would have done it already. So what do you really want, Nick? 
Depends what you're offering. Finally. You're asking the right question. What's the offer? Simple. The world. I want you to help me run my organization, then take it over when I'm gone. Yeah, well, I think I just proved your organization has a few holes. Well, who better to plug them? Huh? Look around. You're all alone, Nick. I wonder why. My friends had somewhere else to be. No. No, you sent them away. You see, I think you finally figured out who you really are. You're just like me. More criminal than cop. You know what? You're right. Tell me, Nick, when you pulled the trigger, did I look surprised? There's a bookshelf near my desk. Behind it is a passageway. Open it up. I framed you because I didn't think you were a realist. Good guys never are. But I invited you out here because I hoped that maybe I was wrong. That maybe... You were salvageable. You see, what I've done is corruption. Favors rendered, money procured. No. The cops I've been working with, police chiefs, commissioners I'm talking about. Oh. You'd be shocked by how fast they cooperated. And it's not because they're bad men. The problem is risk. My customers sell something millions of people want. I've reduced risk. For cop, criminal, for everybody. And everyone was willing to look the other way. Except you. What I've built can't be taken apart. There's too much at stake. Too many lives and reputations. So congratulations, detective. It's all yours. Oh my god. Now what are you gonna do with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm.